Friends at home, enemies abroad, good to see you all. So, uh, Sifu Emin, Dai Sifu Emin, he made, uh, you know, he left the Lungding organization under some bitter political circumstances, and he was very upset about it for a long time, rightly so. And uh, Grandmaster Rene helped him, like, get over it, mature as, as a human, you know? That was real important in the nine, uh, the 2000s. By 2015, you know, Sifu was a very humble, mature, over all that. Uh, and he says, our job is to make the very best Wing Chun. And it's one character that we set from China. We spell it all different in our Western marketing. So we say, no, nah, no, nah, we're better than them. So we're going to spell it. I don't want anything to do with WC. Because I'm better than that, right? But it's the same characters. That's what we're sharing. So if you're not, if you're so different, we don't want you using those characters no more. So WC is pretty awesome. And it's different than WT, the best. And then VT is, you know, like a heritage society. Uh, just preserving some kind of like a museum or something, you know? It's not... Uh, you know, Sifu Moyot, all these guys are VT, but you don't see their students out there bragging and claiming uh, uncle's name the way the WC people do. That's why I never talk about VT. So, thanks for waiting, Isaiah. I left off with a surprise bonus, but then I didn't have it on the film. It turned out the camera turned off. So we're going to do that today. Why do I always tell you not to do Beauty, BT, Lung Ting, Beauty style until you're ready. Why are we stuck in the Chub Q monad until we can escape it? So that's what we're going to look at today. So if we look at Poon Sao, as we call it, and Beauty is when we are short and when we are poking. So if Isaiah is grabbing my throat with lethal intent, right? then I could try to poke, and I'm on his cheek here, but I could try to poke him. And to practice that, thank you Isaiah, he's going to punch towards some place, and I'm going to punch towards some place, and we'll intersect. Back to the throat, he's going for the throat, I'm going for the eye, you can open your hand even, right? So we have this moment, hopefully, that's what we're practicing for, yes? The leaf lintan, and then with the elbows, um, he's got my neck and I went for a punch and he's choking me and my arm can come up. Let's use this side for the camera, right? So my arm can come up. So I have an arm lock thing in here, right? And since I don't want it to be on my neck, I might grab his hand or whatever. You know those ones, right? Or it could just be the force of it. But when I put this one in underneath, it has a wedge effect this way too. And I put the two together against the choke again, right? Now, if he's already got the choke, the claws are in, it's going to be bad, and i got to do some other, you know. But there's this move in here, that close, though. We practice that out here. He punches me in the chest, right? Go ahead, not too hard, but, you know, he punches me, oh, right? So then he punches me, and I put this up there, pretty good, right? And then I want to try, but it's on top, you see? And then I go underneath, back to the other side, Isaiah. Right, I don't want to poke somebody. When I start doing that, he goes to my face. Whoa, whoa, boom, boom, boom. I don't want to hurt somebody. Again, that was fun. Boom, 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 boom. Right. All right. So, poon sao is this rolling exercise this way, and I've learned it's called the yin and yang position because one is out and one is in. The rolling is what we call poon sao, but I just heard poon sao defined as something else the other day. And I've noticed in some videos, I think the other versions like to start with this circling kind of motion. This is what some people are saying is chi sao. And that the rolling of a bong sao is not the start. But that's different. The lung ting system, the bong rolling is the key part, not the guat saoing. So this is the end of our start. Being pointed and then in the middle, jut shu. All right, so if I do our first attack from Wing Chun and I go in, did that a little bit like, right, so if I go right here, thank you, Isaiah, very nice. Right here, 
Six student grader is beat so bad they have to retreat, use a turn, try to get this hand up because this arm has been destroyed. Yep, I have to use this arm. In a beauty perspective, I can move and shoot right through here like that. All right, so I can go right through there. How did I do that? So to get there, I've come in, I've learned to turn like this and put something up. So that motion actually was learned in the Jut Shun cycle far away like this. If I, you keep doing that, center line though, yeah, keep doing that, thank you. And if I jam into it, thank you Isaiah, since he didn't know what was, what was coming, this side he'll know what's coming. If I jam into it, the bog sow folds up, the jut sow that's on top for center line stays on the center line and becomes on the bottom. That's a bostepe hallmark from the 90s. Center line is here. I go over the top of the center line. If this is up high, this next one is on the center line. It's underneath. It's over the top. It's not reaching to go over. So now let's get to this thing that everybody likes to do. Thanks for cooperating, Isaiah. Uh, toe in, get your induction down there on, so at least you're doing something. So everyone likes to go like this. And who can do it to me now? A lot, right? Everyone likes to do this move. And everyone likes to go like this. Yeah. Where they grab and they do it to this side, right? So to take this hand and roll it over and chop, and grab as I do it, and grab the second hand, is an advanced move. I need to be trying to punch first. Yeah, let's turn so slightly. I need to be trying to punch first, and then I need to lose that punch. I need to have that skill. I can't just put this up and hope that it finds, right? If that's going at me, right, and I put this up to try to catch it, it's not gonna work. 